What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back for another video. Man, it is exciting times right now. It is October 17th and coyote season here in Indiana came in October 15th. Uh, we just got back home from vacation, took the camper down to Florida. Coyote season came in on Friday and it is Sunday now. And just wanted to start off this season a little bit different than what I've done in the past two seasons. Uh, you guys have probably seen the playlist that I put together two years ago and then last year's playlist and then I'll be starting another playlist for uh, this season. But what I want to do this time around is kind of give you guys a quick overview, quick rundown of what we're going to be using this year, what I'm going to be using out in the field. And um, just kind of start out from there. There is going to be one big change uh, coming soon, I hope. Not exactly sure what the date's going to be, but that is actually going to be on the firearm. This will fall back to a backup or a number two whatever you want to call it, but this here is the trusty old 6.5 Grendel, and uh, you guys have seen this a ton on the channel. And as far as those prior playlists that I was talking about earlier, I'll make sure and throw a card up here, and then I'll throw a link down below so you guys can take a look at those playlists if you haven't already seen those. And we'll just dive right in here, take a look at what we're going to be using this year for uh, the 2021-2022 coyote season here in Indiana. So to start off, like I mentioned, I'm going to be starting off with the trusty old 6.5 Grendel. Uh, you guys have probably seen the build list, the build video on this. Uh, did a thorough review on that a um, year or two ago, maybe, something like that. But the main thing that's going to be changing on the rifle is I decided to sell my Pulsar Thermion XP50 and going to be using the Pulsar Trail. This is the Trail 2 uh, XP50 LRF. It's got the laser rangefinder on the side here. But by going with this unit, what that allowed me to do was, you guys probably seen last year in some different videos, was I was using the Silencer Co. Radius, the laser rangefinder that hung off the side of the rifle right here, mounted up front on my handguard. That worked really well, uh, extremely accurate. The only thing with that is there was one extra added piece hanging off the front, added a little more weight to the front. But the main thing was, anytime that gets bumped, it can it can drastically throw that off uh, your point of point of aim. Whereas this, the holding scope would have to be, you know, basically canted or knocked off to the side. And that's just not gonna happen with how solid and rigid these trail units mount to the top of your AR platform or bolt action platform, whatever you're using it on. So although I really liked the radius on my rifle last year, once um, I kind of bought into the fact of spending a little bit more and going with the built-in laser rangefinder, I think I'm going to be extremely happy uh, with the Pulsar Trail 2 uh, XP50 unit here. Um, like I mentioned, the rifle is exactly the same. Other than that, still using the same suppressor, still shooting uh, 90 grain TNT hand loads. Uh, been extremely happy with those after I changed from the 123 Hornady uh, SSTs. I didn't like those at all. Just too many runners, not too much expansion on those SSTs. And, once I changed to the 90 grain TNTs, uh, had a lot better success. And still using the uh, Really Right Stuff uh, tripod. Really, really love this tripod. Awesome unit and also using the Anvil 30 ball head. Uh, I think this is by far the best ball head out there. Personal opinion, everything on this channel is personal opinion. But this thing just locks up extremely tight, uh, very rigid. And then as far as making adjustments, uh, it's just super easy with this lever clamp here. I did a review on that on the channel as well. Uh, moving over here, this is what I'll be using uh, out in the field. I'll have this, you know, this is my, my chest rig. This is an Alaska Guide Creations chest rig. Basically just a, a bino pack, bino harness. What I do with that, you know, that'll be thrown over my shoulders here and it'll be sitting right here just like this. But the other main change that I've done this year and you guys will definitely be able to tell whenever I start posting videos the big change is my handheld scanner last year and the year before and the year before that I was using the Pulsar XQ38 and what I went to this year is a Pulsar Helion 2 XP50 Pro uh, man the, the clarity the resolution in this thing is just incredible. Like I say, you guys will be seeing some videos coming in the future here. Hopefully we can call in some coyotes anyway. Um, but you guys will see it there whenever I'm out scanning in the field, you know, waiting on coyotes to come in, checking out different stuff. You guys will be checking it out there with me. So 
this unit's awesome. It's pretty badass. You guys are going to like it. I love it. So that's the other big change. Uh, just go ahead and go through kind of what I have in my bino pack here. And I might make a change on my bino pack because this Helion 2 model, the uh, XP50 Pro, it's a little bit taller. So you can see uh, my lid doesn't close quite as well there. But that's fine for now. Um, the only reason I really take this pack with me is just because I record stuff out in the field. So I've got a stuff. So I've got a lot of stuff in here that pertains to my actual camera. Um, I take a smaller camera with me out in the field and try to capture those moments right after I make the kill through the scope, so I can relay it to you guys and give you guys updates. So there's a lot of that type of gear in here. If you're not recording your stuff, you really don't need a bino pack, but it sure does make it handy for for my situation, my setups. Uh, up front here in this nice little little pocket here, I just carry an extra battery. Nice thing about this trail unit is now not only my scope, but my scanner both take this style of battery. So that's in there and I just keep a little mouse squeaker right here. That way if I get something coming in I need it to stop or need it to chalk up, stop in its tracks, I can just reach down. Keep that closed. I don't even have to open it. I just reach down on my chest and push that. Get them to stop. Uh, here on the side, we've got some different pouches. MFK mouth diaphragms, you guys know, that have been following the channel for a while. I do a lot of vocals uh, by diaphragm. That's it on that side. On this side should just be my wind checker. Always gotta have that with me. Wind checker there. Uh, another thing that I'll probably put that I typically throw in here or just in a cargo pocket It's downstairs charging right now is just my headlamp always have a headlamp with me Down here at the bottom Is good old trusty coyote drag. This is by uh, coyote cords awesome company actually located here in Indiana Make sure and check out coyote cords. They have a Facebook page Get that stuff back in there. They also made the lanyard here that goes on my scanner pretty awesome company and then in the back is just a lot of batteries and stuff for the camera that's sitting up there batteries for that as well as batteries for my headlamp and then just a, a utility knife so that's it for that and then down here is a nice little pouch so I can keep my Fox Pro remote or my Lucky Duck remote. As you guys know, I bounce back and forth between the Fox Pro X24 and the Lucky Duck Roughneck. Uh, both of those are downstairs charging right now. But anyway, guys, that's, that's it. Just want to start this season off a little bit different than what I've done in the past. Give you guys kind of a quick rundown of what we're going to be starting the season off with. Everything's going to be staying the same, I'm pretty confident with, except for the uh, rifle that's coming. Make sure and stay tuned for that. That's it's going to be pretty slick. Pretty excited about that. But um, that's it, guys. Any questions at all, make sure and comment down below. Like I say, I'll have some links to this stuff down below, as well as those playlists that I talked about. And uh, and just really excited to get back into it, guys. I uh, hope you guys have been looking forward to it. I know I've been anxious to get back out, and uh, the time is here. So let's rock and roll, see what happens. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you on the next one. Bye.